Hello everyone and welcome to our new video. And today's video is all about the Taylor's series. Taylor's series is turning a function into a polynomials of the graph that is shifted over to the left or the right at right or the left side. And today's function will be sine x. So we have our function sine x. But before that, we gotta set up our center C. So the center C is pi. So now we will set it equal to a zero. We will set it equal to a polynomial equation having a center C. So this is what it looks like. So C sub zero plus C sub one times x minus pi plus C sub 2 times x minus pi to the power of 2 plus C sub 3 times x minus pi to the power of 3 plus C sub 4 times x minus pi to the power of 4 and plus C sub 5 times x minus pi to the power of 5 and plus dot 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 meaning it goes on for forever. And setting all of that aside, we write our function sine x, then we set our x as equal to pi. So then we have, so f pi is equal to, well, sine pi is equal to zero. Then we differentiate our sine, sine x's function. So we have f, prime x is equal to cosine x. So then our f prime pi is equal to negative one. Then we differentiate negative, I mean just cosine x. So we have f prime prime x is equal to negative sine x. So our f prime prime pi would be zero. Then we differentiate negative sine x, so we have f prime 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 x is equal to negative cosine x. So we get we get f prime 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 pi, which is then is equal to one. Then we differentiate negative cosine, then we have f to the power of four x is equal to sine x. So our f to the power of 4 pi then is equal to 0. So our, then we differentiate sine x, then we have f to the power of 5 x is equal to cosine x. So our f to the power of 5, to f to the power of 5 pi is equal to negative 1. We will set the x is equal to pi for our original function. So we have f pi that is equal to just c zero because inserting our pi for the x's placement. So the terms after c sub zero is just all zero plus zero plus zero plus zero. So that just leaves c sub zero. But here, and here, it says that our f pi is equal to zero. So our c sub zero is equal to zero. Now we differentiate our sine x's equation of being expressed in a polynomial's equation being shifted over to the right or the left side. So we have f prime x is equal to c sub one plus two times c sub two times x minus pi plus three times c sub three times x minus pi to the power of two plus four times c sub four times x minus pi to the power of three plus c sub five, I mean five times c sub five times x minus pi to the power of four plus dot dot dot. Then we set our x as equal to pi. So, so we get 
f frame pi then just we are left with c sub 1. Here it says that our f prime pi is equal to negative 1, so our value for c sub 1 is equal to negative 1. Then we differentiate our f prime's x, x function, so we get f prime prime x is equal to 2 times c sub 2, plus 2 times 3 times c sub 3 times x minus pi plus 3 times 4 times c sub 4 times x minus pi to the power of 2 plus 4 times 5 times c sub 5 times x minus pi to the power of 3 plus dot dot dot. Then, of course, we set the value pi for the x's placement, so we have f prime prime pi, which then is equal to just 2 times c sub 2. Here it says that our f prime prime pi is equal to 0, so our values of c sub 2 is equal to 0. Then we differentiate this function now, so we have f prime 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 x is equal to 2 times 3 times c sub 3 plus 2 times 3 times 4 times c sub 4 times x minus pi plus 3 times 4 times 5 times c sub 5 times x minus pi to the power of 2 and plus dot dot dot. Now setting our pi is equal to x, I mean x is equal to pi, we have we have f prime 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 pi is equal to 2 times 3 times c sub 3. And here it says that f prime 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 pi is equal to 1, so our value for c sub 3 is equal to 1 over yeah, 2 times 3. Then differentiating this function now, we get f to the power of 4, x is equal to 2 times 3 times 4 times c sub 4 plus 2 times 3 times 4 times 5 times c sub 5 times x minus pi plus dot dot dot. Now setting our x is equal to pi, we have f to the power of 4 pi which then is equal to 2 times 3 times 4 times c sub 4. Here it says that our f to the power of 4 pi is equal to 0. So then our c sub 4 is equal to 0. Differentiating this function, and this is the last function we'll be differentiating, we get f, we get f, to the power of 5x is equal to 2 times 3 times 4 times 5 times c sub 5 plus dot dot dot. Setting x as equal to pi, we have f to the power of 5 pi is equal to 2 times 3 times 4 times 5 times c sub 5. Here it says that f to the power of 5 pi is equal to negative 1. So our value for our c sub 4, I mean c sub 5, is equal to 1 all over by 2 times 3 times 4 times 5. Now we are not needing these large portion of notes anymore. So we will just simply um, erase them. Now simply having all of those, we will just insert, I mean, replace them into our original sine x's equation. So we get sine x is equal to c sub 0 is 0, so nothing goes there. c sub 1 is equal to negative 1, so times negative 1 
times x minus pi plus c sub 2 is 0 times x minus pi to the power of 2 is just nothing. And c sub 3 is equal to 1 over 2 times 3. So we have x minus pi to the power of 3 all over by 2 times 3. Yeah. And then our c sub 4 is equal to 0, so nothing goes there. And I think I might have accidentally erased the term c sub 5 times x minus pi to the power of 5 plus dot dot dot. Yeah, our c sub 5 is equal to 1 over 2 times 3 times 4 times 5 times pi over, I mean, x minus pi to the power of 5. So we have plus, we have plus all over by x minus pi to the power of 5 over 2 times 3 times 4 times 5. Yeah, we were supposed to have a negative. Yeah, so it's not plus, it's minus. N noticing carefully, our bottom side of the fraction is actually a factorial, just being expanded. So actually for this term, we have minus x minus pi all over by zero factorial plus x minus pi to the power of three over three factorial minus x minus pi to the power of five over, um, yeah, five factorial. This is actually supposed to be one factorial, which is equal to sine x. So here we just have found our answer for our function sine x being expressed in a Taylor's series. Thanks for watching and see you guys in the next video. Bye.